Hello, I am Matt Seuss, an OM System Ambassador, and today I'm going to be talking about using an external USB power bank with the new OM System OM1 camera. Now, you may be aware that we have a new battery inside this camera. This is a, actually a fabulous battery. I really enjoy it. It is the BLX1, and it has 2280 milliamp hours. Compare that to the older batteries and the older cameras that were using the BLH1 battery. That only had 1720 milliamp hours. So we're getting a little bit more juice in this battery, in this new battery. In addition to that, we also have the benefit of being able to plug this into the camera have it charge the battery, but also still be able to keep on shooting when that is plugged in. So you may find that you don't need as many batteries to carry around if you're carrying around one of these. Benefit of having this is that not only will this charge the camera, but it'll charge your cell phone, it'll charge your iPad, could even charge your laptop depending on the unit that you get. Now I will have links down below, take a look at those. I'll have links for the battery pack that I'm using here today in this video and a couple other ones that I also suggest too. Let's go ahead and take a look at the specs though in the owner's manual because there is a certain uh, battery pack that we need to get and it has to be USB PD compatible. So it'll be a little PD icon on your, on your power bank. That USB PD standard works through the USB C cable that comes with the camera. Now, looking at the manual here, you want to make sure that the output is rated for 27 watts or more. Actually, you don't need to have one that's 27 watts or more. This unit that I have here is around 18 or 20 watts and it powers this perfectly. In fact, it's the same speed charging that I have when I'm plugged into the power outlet, and I'll mention that in just a little bit. They also have some other specifications here, 9 volt, 3 amp, 15 volt, 2 amp, or 15 volt, 3 amp. Now, the PD, the power delivery, this protocol here, that basically your power bank is going to be talking to your camera, and your camera is only going to be pulling the amount of power that it needs. So you don't have to worry about overcharging, you don't have to worry about too much power. The camera will regulate all that talking in sync with the power bank. It does appear that the camera is used in USB PD version 2.0 or 3.0. And based on the specs here with the 9 volt, 3 amp, 15 volt, 2 amp, it looks like we can go up to about a 45 watt power bank. I actually have a 45 watt power bank on order that'll be coming next week to try and test it and see if I can get even faster charge times. Now, just to show you the unit that I do have, this is it over here, and we can see here, this is the USB-C in and out. That is where you'll be plugging in the camera into, and it does an output of 20 watts. It does 22.5 watts in these other USB-A uh, ports, but when I plugged it into the camera using these ports, I wasn't getting the super fast charging that I was getting through this USB-C cable. Now, in terms of charge times, how long did it take for the camera to get fully charged from a completely dead battery using this power bank? It took about two hours and 25 minutes. How does that compare to using the cable and the power adapter that came with the camera? Two hours and 25 minutes. So this power bank here is the exact same as if I was plugging this into the wall. That's why I wanna try and get that 45 watt to see if I can shrink that charge time down a little bit. Now, as we saw in that previous screen, it has one input and three outputs. It also has a flashlight. So if you double click on this, you get a little mini flashlight. Kind of cool when you're out photographing the night sky. Also has in the back of it here, a little thing that slides right out. So get that up over here. So if you happen to be charging your phone, that will hold your phone up. Give me a nice little display. This is also airline compliant too, so you can take this with you as carry-on on pretty much any airline, especially out here in the United States. This also features a little LCD screen there that'll give you the exact percentage of how much charge is left. Let's go ahead and plug this into the camera. Now I am using the cable that came with the camera. You can use other cables too. Make sure you're using a high-speed cable though, especially if you're using one of these high-speed uh, power banks. The great thing about this cable here, though, this is a high-speed USB cable. This is also the cable that you want to be using your firmware updates for, so do not lose this cable. All you have to do is just plug this in to the bottom here of the camera. Right on the side port, and I'll slide that over there. 
plug that in over there and then go ahead and plug this right into the unit. And as soon as you plug it in, it will all of a sudden give you a percentage and it'll start powering up the, or not, it'll start charging the battery on here. There's a little lightning bolt signal on there that tells me I'm getting the high speed output from this battery into the camera. And how does this look inside the camera? Let's go ahead and take a look inside the camera. You'll notice in the upper left hand corner, it says a USB it's connected and it is charging the battery right now. We don't see any signal inside the camera there in this screen that it is charging it. However, I can go ahead and just take a look at the very back here. The, everyone's familiar with the orange dot right over there that tells me it is charging the battery. And we are looking through this live here as I cut to the camera. So I'm charging the battery while also making adjustments and I can continue taking pictures as this camera is being charged. Now, another thing that I really like about this battery is that it came with this little cloth little uh, casing for it, which is really neat because if you're out in the field charging your battery, throw this into the, uh, the cloth pouch and just grab it and attach it right to the back of your tripod. So I can attach it right over here. It'll hang down just a little bit below the, uh, below the camera. And now it's hands off, so I don't have to worry about it. So having this nice little included pouch, I think it's a really cool benefit. Now, one thing to note, I did do a test on this. I pulled the battery out, connected the power bank to it to see if it would run, and the camera will not run if you do not have a battery in it. So once again, I'll have the links down below for this battery that I just used here. This was $26, so really cheap and convenient. Uh, if you're wondering how long it takes to charge an iPhone, I have the iPhone, uh, what is it, the iPhone 13 Pro Max, the big one there, and I let that battery completely die and then charged it with this power bank. I think it took a couple hours. I can't remember exactly, but it was a couple hours, and I think the battery pack was down to about 30% on it. That's all I have for you here today. If you like what you saw, down below, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos on the OM system, I'm going to be doing a lot more videos this year using this gear. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button also down below. Any questions, hit me up in the comments. And that is it. I'll see you in the next video.